Hey everyone, in spite of a referendum to supposedly settle the issue, Brexit apparently remains one of those divisive things like Marmite or Justin Bieber, although at least with those two, most people agree in the fact that they both go best at the end of a knife. Maybe a better example would be the film 2001, which is either a stunning untouchable masterpiece, or if you're under 30, it's in dire need of a reboot with laser fights and perhaps Chris Hemsworth. Unfortunately, that's the level of intellectual debate we've come to with Brexit, a chasm of opinion that Jeremy Corbyn has ironically managed to bridge by explicitly not having an opinion on the subject. It's rather like me being asked by a vegan what my favourite bean is, to which I suppose the answer would be that of Christmas one where Rowan Atkinson visits Harrods. Back to Brexit though, the clock is ticking so this week the debate moved up a notch as Remain MPs gave up on rational debate and switched to using arcane parliamentary procedure as their latest weapon to prevent Britain from leaving the political union and the retirement jobs that it promises to all the failed left-wing MPs. As far as parliamentary ceremony or procedure goes, it was about as confusing as watching the opening ceremony of a ribbon repair business. Ultimately, a clause was added to a finance bill that would make the tax system grind to a halt and need repeated voting on in the event of a no-deal Brexit. While a number of legal minds have subsequently suggested that it doesn't actually prevent no deal, it certainly leads to an assumption amongst the many, by which I mean the few, that Theresa May's vote failing to pass would force a general election in order to change that finance bill or somehow delay Article 50. There are a couple of sorely mistaken leaps in logic, of course, here. Number one, there are European elections coming in a couple of months, and the EU is actually pretty keen to get rid of the UK's anti-federalist sentiment at this point. Number two, if Labour were to win a springtime election, the Northern MPs would make Brexit more likely, unless they're envisaging some kind of crazy national government when the likes of Kenneth Clark, sorry, Kenneth Conrad Clark, are invited along to sit next to Corbyn. Three, if Labour think that Theresa May has any plans of resigning or calling that election, then they really haven't been paying much attention to the past two years. If the likes of Boris Johnson can't get rid of her, then I really doubt the likes of Tom Watson can. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.